everyone, today we're going to talk about snowy owls. We're going to start with the we're going to start with the introduction and then we're going to move on, move on and talk about the characteristics, habitats, diet, movement, fun facts about the snowy owl. I I chose the snowy owl animal because they are excellent in hunting and uh, and they are predators. I like predators because they because other small animals are afraid of them. The next thing we're going to talk about is this, the characteristics of a snowy owl. I put up a diagram for you to see to see the right characteristics. Let's start with the black talons of a snowy owl. You can see the see the black talons where the arrow is pointing you to pointing you because um the the snowy owl is flying in this picture and and the talons are usually going like this to this and 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 they are located next next to the tail a talon is a claw claw on a bird then the then a snowy owl has brown and white feathers on the body I can tell this is a female because females have more feathers while males have less less of those feathers. All snowy all snowy what the all snowy owls have in common is their their is that their eyes is are yellow. Snowy owls have a small black beak because um, they have a because the the white parts of the snowy owl is covering the other parts of um, most of the parts of the beak. The next thing when the next, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the habitat of a snowy owl. Habitat of a, usually snowy owls um, Snowy owls live in cold regions, just like their name suggests. The snowy owl's natural natural habitat is a tundra. A tundra is an open Arctic. Uh, Arctic. They usually put their nests on the ground, on the ground in a tundra, and they and they live in tundras, <coughs> tundras in tundras in the northern hemisphere. Usually, for example, they live in Russia, Canada, and Greenland, next to the Arctic Circle. Mm. Now, this is the diet of a snowy owl, what they eat. Snowy owl's favorite food is lemmings. Lemmings are small, are small, little, small little tiny creatures. A lemming looks like a lemming. If you want to see a lemming, um, you can you can look down down the middle part the middle down middle area and and they use and they the, they don't just eat lemmings they also eat birds rabbits and fish it is interesting that snowy owls eat eat um, animals small animals from land water and air Mm. And these, this is the movement of a snowy owl. Snowy owls can move in different ways. This animal usually flies near the ground and uses its sharp talons to find, to grab food. Food. In these two pictures, it will show a snowy owl flying, flying near the ground, and. And a snowy owl gra grabbing its food using the using their talons or claw. After movement, the next thing we're going to talk about is is how snowy owls usually catch their prey. Record snowfall gives deep cover for rodents, like the vole.
hidden beneath. They are protected from the cold and hunters above. The vole's ears are big and can listen out for danger. But what good is that if danger makes no sound? Silence is the snowy owl's secret weapon. Fringed edges of her flight feathers break up the flapping noise that a normal bird makes. And her attack is as silent as death. I hope you enjoyed that video video about snowy owls usually you catch catching 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 and hunting their prey the next thing the next thing we're going to talk about the last thing we're going to talk about today is the fun facts uh, fun or amazing facts about the snowy owl there are there are many there are many facts that mean that snowy owls have Snowy owls have amazing eyesight, but sometimes animals hide underground, and usually snowy owls can't. Usually, usually, snowy owls can't rely on their eyesight all the time when some, when an animal is underground. So, so they rely on their sense of hearing and hearing, hearing. Snowy owls are very are very patient. And unlike other owls, snowy owls are active during daytime. These, these are the things I wanted to talk to you about, about snowy owls. I hope you enjoyed reading about, reading about this amazing animal and my presentation. Bye!